Hi, welcome to Arch Merch. This video is about uh, how to theme actually open box. So we just made a tutorial about how to theme XFCE. Now it's up to uh, open box. How do we fix that? As you can see, we're on a fifth iteration. So uh, already a new version that's coming pretty soon. And 6.1, it will be called then. And the question is, how do we change all this? I'm going to follow more or less the same procedure telling you that you have to change the wallpaper. That's the biggest thing on here. So you can have the variety and you can have wallpaper selector and say whatever you want, choose whatever you want. You can see and slide and my uh, the other one, which where is she, where is she, where is she, my girl is gone. So there are uh, lots of wallpapers and this one is the one we had in XFCE. So a lot of things you can choose. Um, the wallpapers are coming from Arch Merch, like this one or this one. People like this one very much. But a lot of the wallpapers are actually coming from the net. So this one is never from me. The Danger. Nice uh, little song. I'm the one who knocks, you know, these songs. Um, anyway, so we have these wallpapers coming from somewhere else. Where is this somewhere else? It's coming from desktopper.co. So let's get rid of this first. So I'm going to choose for this one that I like. And what you do is you make yourself an account, create an account, and then you can click here. You have uh, need to have a Dropbox account, which is easy to install, Packer, Dropbox, create account. And then you sync everything you like to your Dropbox so nothing gets wasted, not a, nothing is lost. Great tip. But there are other tools. How can you set, set the wallpaper as well? So you have to go to preferences, lots of these elements are grouped together for you for your ease and comfort so let's go over the details these things will be useful all the time a terminal file manager web browser you choose which web browser you want it's in the preferred applications so if you like firefox you choose firefox and so on accessories all these things are coming from the ob menu generator so this thing here so these are generated and we have nothing to do with it. It's a program that makes it. These are all the places, recent files. This is created manually. So it's a conky. We can change our conky here. Uh, let's first go keep to the wallpaper. And we have here in preferences, choose wallpaper. So these things are man-made, manually made. These things are coming from will be many generated so that you know <coughs> meaning these things we can change the other things we can't preferences choose wallpaper we choose nitrogen nitrogen is an interesting tool you can have lots of things here whatever you want full screen sometimes screen two one and two i have a dual screen but i'm recording just on one i'm mirroring them so you don't uh, see them back this one you just click and say apply it's done but what if you have preferences you can have preferences like so and then you see all the pictures here but where are the other pictures you have pictures in variety eric where are they well they're not in this place and where is this place preferences user share backgrounds that's it we have a folder in there in user share backgrounds arch merch and that's it we don't have any more pictures that's just our small collection so we know you have your own personal wallpapers so you need to add them you need to add a folder anywhere in your system and then you they show up as well so i could do that if you like me to show you no i could i cannot do that why i have no dropbox so all my accounts, all my, my wallpapers are on Dropbox due to the great advantage of our element here, of our variety uh, possibility to sync with desktopper. So you just need to add a folder with wallpapers and then that's that and you have it. So do check it out, the preferences. I'm gonna keep maybe like so, oh sorry, cancel. Anyway, so nitrogen, done. Two elements, nitrogen, and we have, let's take something else, and let's take, um, so a next, let's tackle something else. Variety and nitrogen. 
Ok, conkeys, why not? Conkeys, conkey, conkey chooser. We can reload the conkey if something goes wrong. Edit it, change it. The colors, change this color here. If I want to, I can click here. And a session, for instance, you want to have a conkey here, a conkey there, a conkey there. And you say, this is my conkey session. And then you can save it as default. And then it will boot up again with those settings. But mainly, I do not use all these things. The main one thing we do is just tell them just to this here and to, for instance, AM logos. Let's have a look. Like so. Old arrow to the right. Another wallpaper. Let's see if we can find a wallpaper that looks good with the logo because that's important too. And voila. We're happy with it. And let's go ahead. So that was our Conky. So Conky is actually a logo. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a conkey with a logo. We can click here, then it's alphabetically, and we can say, why not do two of them? Let's take this one as well. This one takes always a little bit longer, but there it is. So now we have this laven lavender uh, look, of lavendel in Dutch. So it's a flower, it's uh, nice. Conkeys, done. If you want to know more about how to change the conkeys, look in the code of the conkeys, like so, and check out ericdubois.pe for now, because there are a lot of explanation is what this is and how this works. And as you can see, from time to time, there is also an explanation how it works. Conkeys done, wallpaper done, blank. How do we change this thing? Control, right mouse click, and then we have preferences. Control on the plank and then preferences. Get the name right, it's a plank, not a docky. So preferences you can change here with the arrow key, it's easier to just go up and down and see if anything fits to your wallpaper and then decide to just go maybe for this one. You want to make it a bit bigger maybe, not too big really, and then zoom yes or no. Center alignment to the bottom or to the left. Too big. Make it smaller again. Voila. So these are the most interesting parts. There's also behavior that you might want to look into. And that's that. What part in Arch Merge Open Box is also interesting? That's this part which is called Tint2. So remember the name. We go to Preferences. Choose wallpaper, done. Exit appearance, that's something else. Let's stick to Tint2. We have here Tint2 and Tint2 GUI. A GUI stands for Graphic User Interface. And that's the easiest way and the way I recommend you go. You go into this, you wait till it loads, voila. So we have this, let's take a uh, lighter wallpaper. Well, lighter wallpaper. You see that you have four blocks, four desktop, desktops. So each one of them can be changed or scrolled. So you scroll to it on the desktop. You scroll with your mouse and you're scrolling through desktops. Now, if I want to change it, so now this is the Check out where it is. It's your personal folder, the .config tin2 folder. That's where it is. And each time, very important, each time you click here and say, I want to have this one. This is awesome. All right. Click apply. Do you really want to replace the default theme with a selected theme? This one, default one, that's in your personal config folder, is going to be overwritten. It's, it is named tin2. Yeah, but what's inside is the other one. So now we have here a different kind of theme, different kind of look. Doesn't really show that it's that different, but it is. It is different. And we're going to check out uh, all the different possibilities. It's up to you to just click on it, apply it. Yes. And now you see definitely a difference. This is a completely other look. And we can go on and on and on. So it's up to you to check that out. And here is again the Arch Merge standard. So I have 
a default one again so you have back the one we had when we installed arch merge so this is the default one so you have it here it's down there a lot of elements and we can make more and more and please supply us with uh, tint 2 variations it will be an honor to include them in our system so everybody else can use them it's very fun it's not part of the tutorial now but what you can do and I can show it quickly if you double click on this then the fun starts it's so easy it's very um, intuitive what backgrounds do you want what panels are there where you want to put a panel how long should it be what are the panel items you want to see the taskbar the system tray the clock yeah system tray the clock the taskbar and then what about the taskbars what about the buttons the launchers I don't like launchers because they they're up here but I have my plank to launch th things but it's up to you uh, I'd see still still something should be deleted here quite good that I saw that now little ISO line and it's okay clock uh, system tray battery yes no tooltip stuff like that it's all very useful and intuitive you can just click on things and make the font a little bit bigger make the color different and so on and so on it's so easy but if you really like the code you could check out the code but it's not meant well you you can do whatever you want it's Linux I'll show you where it is tin 2 <coughs> tin 2 tin 2 here it is and this is what we're looking at so this thing here is always tin 2 and these are all the things I've replaced already so he makes a back of it backup from it so you can go back and see what did you change double clicking will make this again so if you don't want to do it in the GUI way you need to tell them look guy open it up with sublime text and then you see something maybe you get scared of but it's not that difficult if you maybe first start with the GUI then you see you have seven backgrounds rounded colors and all that you have panels with this kind of buttons on it panel size panel dock so once you get into the GUI or maybe put them separate uh, next to each other and then you say oh, yeah, that's the taskbar name padding and that's this and that's that it's readable it's not that difficult it takes some time but it's okay it's readable it's not like it's assembler or anything so tin 2 all right okay we have the possibility to change this thing up here we can put it down here as well we can change it with a GUI we can say no I want to have it down there so great um, visually I don't see anything else but let's take the icons for instance and the themes that's something we should check also so preferences choose wallpaper done exit appearance let's follow the menu if you want to go out you have now the Sardi OB logout elements so super X these are the icons if you don't like these icons you can have other icons it's just a matter of putting this away and putting a hashtag there saving it and then pressing super x again did you know now you do so these are all hidden gems when i talk about hidden gems really guys it's filled with it so okay you can have other buttons if you exit yes you can light dm experience appearance is better so when you log in you can have another theme you can have another icon you can have another image in the background another font panels other elements window positions uh, and so on so you can you change your login screen oh yeah also nice what else um alex appearance okay first one that really matters in my eyes of course this is the system we're on and the look the color that we have depends on the elements we we choose here so in open box it's difficult to grasp the first time and I get that why because open box has two elements it is not a complete desktop environment it's not XFC it's not GNOME open box is managing your windows but 
it doesn't have any well not any but doesn't have a full desktop environment so we need to implement stuff from xfce this is not open box it's a file manager it's coming from xfce so that's why eric dubois decided in arch merge to say look we have already in open box in arch labs a previous uh, edition we have already so many elements from xfce why not just provide the complete experience because xfc is very very fast tunar is great file manager so if we're talking about designing colors and all that you have to be aware there are two elements there is the elements that are governed by xfce and there are elements that are governed by look it's blue by another set of elements i told it would be red it's not because there are, these elements are coming from open box settings so it's a bit oh my god but it's just the way things are there is open box and there is fce and there's no way in between it you have to know both so if you want to change and go to arc new mix dark and apply it you have to check out and see what happens you see it doesn't change right away you'll have to uh, take some time but if later you'll see that everything follows the color yeah. okay maybe now i don't know really but at some point in time it will follow the color that you're setting color can't be changed here fixed icon theme well choose whatever you want like so colors let's take this one apply nothing happens okay there is a reason for that it's not xfce you're fixing here mouse cursor there are lots of elements here we can go for this breeze yeah it's gonna change here now it's white but not here so it's a bit strange for many people that these elements i change here are not changed there and you get frustrated it's normal it's normal you just have to remember there are two systems on there and then there is also the window border why is this not changing for instance well let's take this one apply got it this tab changes only the border only and a lot of elements in there and not only the border but let's take another example so it seems it changes also the menu aha uh -huh. so i have to go to alex appearance to change my menu yeah here the menu changes in this little tab and so we have to figure out the, maybe the fonts here as well how big and so on and what you want to see in uh, the window border and the font as well and others so you have to keep them separate you have to actually change two things if you want to have overall the same look then you have to go here let's put it up here that's alex appearance that's what we've tried to explain the two parts alex appearance and xfc appearance let's go there so we have xfce stuff and maybe we better go to ah yeah to art new mix dark because we wanted here let's see for arc paper dark that's the last one we chose but let's make everything arc new mix dark arc new mix dark new dark right mouse click ah yeah arc new mix dark it's it's yellow we did it an icon team with new mix got it so now everything is set two elements open box system here xfce system here this is xfce and this is open box that's how we need to work with the same icons as well because surfing icons no 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 we decided to go for the surfing new mix so we set it also here okay now i'm getting it so we have two elements one screen here to get this one and another screen to get other parts of your system even borders and mouse cursors and so on my mouse is still white as you see here 
So we have to set it as elsewhere as well. Fonts can be changed, settings can be changed, all for this one, XFCE. Okay, now we've got that out of the way. We have, let's go on, and slim appearance is, let's have a look. How will you want to show, what will you show, go down there. The current theme is Arch Merge Transfer. If you say uh, super and then K, that's the lock key. So if you want, don't want this one, you can take the Arch Merge Wood. Again, it's a hidden gem, it's a hidden tool. It's, un, it's not clear that it's available. The only thing you have to do is just go in there and say, look, take this one, save. Then you type super K and you get something else. It's up to you to decide what you want. So that was this slim lock. How do we lock our system when we go away if somebody does not need to be on our system? We lock it. Super K from lock. Termite appearance. If we want this termite, control alt C, if you want to change this look, we can. Where is it? Here are the colors. All the colors. And where are the other colors? I showed you on Google Plus and I guess also on Facebook that there is in your dot config a termite folder and hidden gems. There are 79 items, 79 hidden gems. All you have to do is pick one, Control A, Control C, put it away, go back to the config, and this is the original one. That's just a backup if you screw something up. Get inside the config, get down here and say everything till colors, replace it. And I have now Ctrl Save, Ctrl Alt, I have completely different colors. And there are 79 to try out. And these are the colors that are going to be shown up down here. So up to you to make your termite, so the, your terminal, this one, termite beautiful. So as you can see, there is no choice to do it transparent. It's all black. It's because we copy pasted code. So it's up to you to decide how your termite looks. So this is the old look. When I close it, Control T, now I've changed my termite. And you can change it 79 times over and over. Would be nice if you provide us with new uh, conky, uh, sorry, new termite uh, colors as well. We'll include it. Great. So done, this done. So remember this one and this one, they go hand in hand, okay. Then there are login settings. Login settings are only important if you want to say, look guy, um, all good, but I don't want to auto login with XFCE. I want to auto login with OpenBox. Save, done. Next time you log in as, as, uh, with OpenBox or i3. And that's because I say to auto login. I want to be I press my power button and I just want to be in and work. Not log in all the time. It's up to you to decide what you want. I am going to control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. Save. Nothing changed. Preferences. Login done. Preferred applications. Quite interesting if you don't like me setting Chromium as your preferred preferred. Uh, browser you go ahead just go ahead and change whatever you want to change here same applies here to NAR you can install Nemo you can install Nautilus is it difficult no pseudo Pacman uh, probably Nautilus not sure but let's just show you and then you'll see what happens always good to repeat pseudo Pacman minus S Nautilus and that's it it's in there you can just install just press enter and then your password, and off you go. No, no one it. Does a Pac-Man minus S Nemo exist? Yeah, it exists. What do you get? A complete Cinnamon desktop with it. It's not a separate file manager. It's complete um, desktop environment from Cinnamon. 
in phase three we'll start with arch merged with a d base installation put cinnamon on it and make it awesome make it beautiful that's our goal months away to make an, an, a beautiful system any desktop possible in arch and there are i think a dozen or so would be awesome if we can do that terminal we can choose a terminal if you want to so nautilus nemo tunar there are others out there the most important you have and then the rest is printing sound preferences this is about theming so i'm restricting myself to theming options there is maybe something here desktop you can want to have some icons on there but then you say eric it's not working why is it not working remember these are xfce settings we are on open box some of these things will work and some of them will not you have to be really aware of the of the of the place you are you are in open box two north stuff will work other stuff bluetooth will work power manager will work but the window manager tweaks the window manager is not xfce it's open box so you can take a look in here like for instance display i always go to display why i have a dual screen when i put it on it's mirrored and the only thing you have to do is click here and apply and then it sees my two screens and that's it i don't have to go into code i don't have to go in a render x render but i do believe i've added it just for the guys in i3 so a render is there as you can see and you can also set here where the mirror how the mirrors are uh, positioned and all that and i believe that x render is also there but x render is a cli meaning it's command line it's really type something and you have to figure out what your code is and then you can put it in i3 in your config but the guys who know i3 know how to do that i'm pretty sure of that so i do believe we're pretty much at the end the only thing maybe is that's fun is generate a pipe menu with icons so if you want to have some icons some color in your menu you can do so this is a pipe menu meaning if you uninstall stuff it's gone here as well if you install stuff it's in here as well but if you do generate a static menu with icons then maybe it loads faster but you, if you install something or delete something then you should really remember to generate again a static menu and then you're good to go again then they're in there or out of there it's up to you you'll see you'll notice that everything should have an icon well everything that's not a pipe menu of course but every icon here should have a beautiful icon or a surfing icon something in front of them again a pipe menu help resources pipe menu no possibility to put anything there well all the rest should be just nice and beautiful we should not miss any icons and if we do please let us know on the forum these are my icons surfing and sardi is just in a jiffy and i fix it and you have a, a system that's fully fully themed and no icons are missing or no icons are out of theme because that's you hate it when that happens whoa i believe we're at the end compositor is something that's also interesting maybe you see here this shadow uh, sometimes it's not wanted so i disable the compositing sometimes to make some screenshots or something like that so you don't see it's transparent transparency is gone um, sometimes we want it we need it so there it is it is so this thing here i3 and openbox work with a compositing manager you could google it and see what it is but we use compton for it xfce uses their own system to make things transparent so keep them apart oh yeah almost forgot here so open box a lot of things to do menu you can change your menu but um that's in case of like you see that's that's a generated menu does it say here somewhere i guess not 
but we just you just saw that I generated my menu when I do this pipe menu and I go again where is it again oops here it is I suppose no 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 there's something else I should explain as well open box menu now we get this that's why it's called OB menu generator it's going to generate with a little script its menu okay so where do I change this then aha if you want to change this content then you change this these elements here but that's probably best left for another tutorial so that's where it is that's where it at um, what else so we've been that done that so the GUI menu editor take a look here as well these are if you have a menu XML a manual one then you can edit it here but when we're using a pipe menu there's nothing to show you there at the moment and configuration tool that's also sometimes a place you need to be here you can set as well the colors as well and here I set my fonts to how large my menu header is let's exaggerate okay got it so that's one of the parts how you set your items you want to have it bigger okay put it bigger now we can read it leave it like that it's up to you what you want and for the rest don't think it's that interesting no nope. less desktops if you don't want two three four you don't want them it's here and that's it basically okay close so now we have done this one we don't like icons we go back to more static more eye pleasing I don't know it's all preferences it's up to you what you choose <coughs> we've done that one mm -hmm. key bindings are shortcut keys so if you want to change shortcut keys it's in here and tin 2 we've done that I believe I have explained most of the things and if you want if you change the menu or if you did something uh, you can always restart open box or reconfigure open box so it's reloaded sound preferences all theming elements I took all theming elements out of it and I believe that we are really at the end of our tutorial I don't think I've missed anything so it's now up to you to make beautiful screenshots put them on Google Plus put them on Facebook spread the word that Earth Arch merch is there and that you can tune it any way you see fit any way you want lots of elements you can all this stand panel is, is just amazing what you can do with this uh, GUI it's great to have uh, this much possibilities with it the plank theme um, all the conkeys you just go ahead and change things and uh, don't forget have fun